Hello and welcome to another class of 5G. Today in this class we will discuss about 5G spectrum requirements. So as we have discussed about the various requirements which are offered by 5G. So in order to meet these requirements, 5G need to have access to me high, medium and low frequencies. So it require high, medium and it requires access to high, medium and low frequencies. So because we have various diversified applications for to access those applications we require a range of high, medium and low frequencies so that we can meet the 5G requirements. Now we have frequencies between 2 and 6 gigahertz. Frequencies between 2 to 6 gigahertz, for example, we are having band of 3300 to 3800 megahertz. So, this is low frequency. So, we can use in this, uh, this frequencies in combination with frequencies below 2 gigahertz. gigahertz and we can use our frequencies above 6 gigahertz. I suppose uh, this is my 2 gigahertz and this is my 6 gigahertz. I can range this frequencies high frequencies above gigahertz, low frequencies below gigahertz and this is a medium frequencies. So if we talk about below 2 gigahertz like we are having 700 megahertz And if we talk about above 6 gigahertz, we are having 24.25. So, to 29.25, 24 to 29.5, to 37, this is only, to 37 to 43.5 gigahertz. So, a sufficient, a sufficient amount of harmonized spectrum in each layer should be provided to enable uh, or to deliver 5G services. So, uh, let's start with the applications. So, today we will learn that what are the applications and what are their spectrum requirements. So, uh, suppose we are having a service enhanced mobile broadband so if we talk about this require high frequencies so what are the frequencies like above 6 gigahertz so for this we are having super data layer to support such high frequencies. So here we require to address specific use cases. For example, extremely high data rate. So for this, we are having 800 megahertz assignment. And this assignment is continuous. Continuous assignment. Now we are having another applications like enhanced mobile broadband. We require ultra reliable low latency communication and also we require massive machine type communication. So here in this case we require wide area but no deep coverage. For such applications, we require medium, require medium frequencies. So, what the layer? Like here we are having super data layer, here we are having coverage and capacity layer.
layer is coverage and capacity layer here we are having best compromise between the coverage and the capacity so here 2 to 6 gigahertz and 100 megahertz channel assignment continuous assignment now let's talk about another services suppose we require massive machine type communication so here we can choose low frequencies can choose low frequencies uh, we can say this is our coverage layer we are not focusing on the capacity here only coverage so wide area and deep indoor coverage we require here in this so we can use below 2 gigahertz and up to 20 megahertz assignment continuous which is required now let's talk about the bands so this is the spectrum requirements uh, as per the services so bands below 6 gigahertz are crucial to support uh, most 5g use cases in a wide area so below 6 gigahertz in a wide area they are more crucial to support so we are having a band so band from 3300 to 40 200 so the 30 uh, 300 to 4200 and 4400 to 5000 frequency ranges are suitable to deliver best compromise between the wide area coverage and good capacity that means this will provide us wide area coverage and good capacity it will provide us so the early uh, deployment of 5g at least 100 megahertz continuous assignment should be required from c band that means uh, we are having a band we call it as c band we will discuss uh, in detail about this band in our next class so in order to uh, 100 megahertz Continuous assignment should be required for 5G uh, so that it can support 100 Mbps. Now, if we uh, talk about uh, low frequencies, that means uh, below 2 GHz, will continue to be essential to extend up to mobile broadband user experience in wider areas and in deeper indoor coverage. Below 2 GHz, as we have discussed, they are for deep indoor coverages. Massive machine type communication and ultra reliable low latency communication will also extend with low frequencies below 2 gigahertz. So this is all about for 5G spectrum requirements. We will continue with the bands in our next class. Thank you so much.